I mean, the huge shifts that we've seen just recently in the last year, in the last couple of months. You know, November 11th, 2011. 11 is the number of Aquarius. It's also a master number. Twelve, twenty-one, twelve. Twelve, twenty-one, twenty, twelve. All master numbers. Huge shifts in consciousness are happening. All around us, in us. In ways that we don't even see. You know? I mean, before I would have been scared to do these videos. I was scared. You know, I thought, oh, I would love to to, to sh give, to share what I've, I've, I've learned. Through astrology and through life. And, you know, there's this, my conscience was, no, no, you know, I, the Virgo and Piscean lower order. You know, no, oh, no, 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 I'm, I, I'm, I'm this, I'm not enough this, I'm too much this, you know, all that. Now it's like, yeah, sure, <laughs> you know, it's, it's consciousness raising. And it's happening in all of us. Ask yourself this. Have you been more kind? Have you been more focused on growth as an individual and societally are you fascinated with space with understanding more and more and more and more and more and more have you recently wanted to help people far more than before maybe a huge priority shift has happened where you realize you know money money versus human health and happiness hmm <laughs> I know so many people I've met so many people that are so focused on priorities and ideals that just didn't exist before such as helping you know I mean I have so many friends now <coughs> that are not worried about Getting the big house and the big fortune and this and that. You know, the, the typical materialist type goals. But are focused on, on living in a hut in Africa and helping. And, and teaching kids that otherwise aren't going to have a chance to, to grow and use their beautiful minds. And all of this has been happening more and more recently. And it's amping up, you know. It's not like it's going to stop. It's, it is Aquarius. beautiful. It seems like more and more people are dedicated to people. And in a healthy way. Because they recognize that on their particular life journey how they're dedicating themselves to the whole starts with the individual. They're finding their own way to be happy, to feel fulfilled, to use their gifts, their unique, unique, absolutely unique universal gifts. Because no matter who you are, we all have unique gifts. Even amongst twins, unique gifts, unique purposes. All of this is Aquarius. And it's just going to get more and more. It's incredible. Okay, this is a pretty long video, so I'm going to wrap up one last thing on the Aquarian Age. Is this the technology, you know? Because technology is making all of this possible. The internet, in the last 10 years. And, and it's growing and getting better, I guess you could say. It's getting more expansive <coughs> every year. Technology is getting better, and it will only get better. That's that is Aquarius. It is technology that is dedicated to the advancement of human beings of humanity. You know, music. I mean, we've always had music. Music has always been a part of life of the soul. But. In recent times, we've seen 
a growth in in bands, you know? Ideally, music amongst friends. And even, even solo artists, you know? I mean, I'm a solo artist, for example. To be able to pursue music, or art in general, any art, <coughs> and give it to the world. I mean, truly give it to the world, you know? It's only possible in this modern day and age with the technology that we have, with the mindsets that we have, you know? I, as a human being, am willing, and in fact, I'm fascinated with perspectives from other cultures. That kind of tolerance wouldn't have existed in a consciousness that was lower, you know, a couple of centuries back. But now, I mean, humanity really has an opportunity, a chance to keep growing and developing. And it's reflecting in our art. Look at our amazing burgeoning art, you know. I mean, the Beatles were, what, f about 50 years ago, 60 years ago almost? And yet still, shape the world. Rock in general, you know. And I, not even just rock, but electric music. Music utilizing electricity, whether through amps, through recording. It's all Aquarius. It's beautiful. Because Aquarius is also electricity, is current. It's current. Thomas Edison, inventor of the light bulb, right? Aquarius, February 11th. Um, some other Aquariuses I forgot. FDR, Aquarius. I already said Martin Luther King's Mercury. And he was right on the cusp of Aquarius, too. Um, George Washington, I want to say he had Venus in Aquarius. I should check, though. I'm not really sure. Abraham Lincoln, like I said. We all have the Aquarian energy. In us. Let alone all around us. Which is still in us. I think it's about time that we recognize it. And we accept it. And we embrace it. And we love it. And we love ourselves for it. And we love our brothers and sisters for it too. This is a huge turning point. And will be remembered as such. We're here now. We, it is up to us to make up. To make the most of everything. No. Just everything. So, I guess my Aquarian motto would be this. Love more. Live more. Be yourself. Teach more. Learn more. All that at the same time. is a beautiful thing. No matter how far you've come, there's always more to go. Namaste. Infinite love.